Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's not that cool. Let's try another one. Hit the beat. <laughs> My brother always tells that in electronics, I only know just, you know, basic things like lighting and LED and stuff like that. But I don't think that's just basic. You see this thing out here? This is an LED. Light emitting diode. Did you hear that? Diode. Yeah. Here we go. This is a PN junction diode. There are also other types of diodes. In market like you know CNA diodes and short key diodes and stuff like that but remember the basics are not the basics as you think they are just more than basics then what exactly is diode so one sec Let's dive deeper. Okay, a PN junction diode is a type of semiconductor material which will allow the current to flow through only in one direction. Then, what is this PN junction? In diodes, mainly there are two types of semiconductor materials, namely P-type materials and N-type material, which is formed by a process called doping. For the sake of simplicity, we can just say Doping refers to adding impurities to pure crystals. Generally, germanium and silicon are used for these purposes. In P-type materials, we have something called holes, which are positive charge carriers, while in N-type materials, we have something called electrons, which are negative charge carriers. By fusing these P-type materials, and n-type material together we get a p-n junction the two main terms comes in mind when we are talking about diodes are the forward bias condition and the reverse bias condition this is just a simple circuit consisting of a cell and the p-n junction diode over here we have the p-type and the n-type as i already told you guys that the p-type contains the holes or the positive charge carriers and while the n-type contains the negative charge carriers called electrons uh, but one thing to remember while doing these things are that it doesn't mean that the p-type only contains holes there are there are also the electrons which are the minority carriers and over, similarly over here we have the holes which are the minority carriers whereas the electrons are the majority carriers and some of these minority carriers from this region will travel to this region over here and the state of equilibrium is reached and this region over here is called the depletion layer so we can see over here the positive terminal of the cell or the voltage source is connected to the p type while the negative terminal is connected to the n type so we are giving it extra energy to push these majority carriers to the other side so what will happen next is that after a certain amount of voltage is reached these majority carriers will migrate and the diode just acts like a conductor. Next we have the reverse bias condition. In this circuit, we can see the negative terminal of the cell is connected to the P-type, whereas the positive terminal of the cell is connected to the N-type. And in this circumstance, the diode just acts like an you know, insulator. And this circuit is just the reverse order of the previous circuit. So if you look at this circuit carefully, you can see that we are giving more and more electrons or more and more holes to these areas where these are just minority carriers so what will happen next is that after a certain amount of voltage is exceeded these minority carriers will break this potential barrier and start to conduct and this condition is called avalanche effect and this voltage is comparatively bigger so now the current flows in the reverse direction but there occurs a simple problem it's just simple you know maybe the diode will burn out or just explore it's just that simple i have shown you the reverse bias condition as well so now this is just useless oh sorry i forgot to explain about the leds which were our main concept when we are applying voltage 
the holes as well as the electrons will come close together to fuse, bond or join and that is what I have highlighted over here and there occurs a production of energy called photons which are you know light particles not the light weight particles I mean the light which comes to us so the light itself is something sort of particles so the photons are emitted and the emission of these we see as light then you may be thinking why does the LEDs only produce photons but the ordinary diodes doesn't you are wrong every diodes produce photons but the emission of light is only done by the LEDs understood let's head to the demo section in this section i will be showing you the iv characteristics of the components as i don't have an oscilloscope i have built an rc low pass filter circuit over here which is connected to my Arduino board and this is the led whose vi characteristic is going to be plotted i am using this circuit because for plotting the iv curve we need a steady analog signal but the Arduino produces pwm pulse width modulation which are fluctuating so to study out the signal, we are using this RC low pass filter circuit. Just leave what I said now. I'll be talking about the, the circuits as well as the PWM and other digital signals as well as the analog signals in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned. Over here, I have a software called Processing which is built by some super developers. When I run the program, the LED will light up after 10 seconds and the Arduino collects the data and it is transferred to the computer for plotting the curve. And what this IV characteristic means, it's just simple. The, it is just the relationship between the current and voltage of the component. Here we have the axis showing the current in milliamperes and the axis showing the voltage in volts, but it's not that clear. So when I run the program and select a color here, uh, the LED will light up within 10 seconds yeah you can see it now and it will start to plot yeah here we go this is the plot and this point over here is called the knee point where the current starts to flow through the LED and I think it's about 1.8 volt approximately and different LEDs have different knee points let me demonstrate it with a red LED yeah here we have the red LED let me choose the color yeah after 10 seconds this led will light up and the graph will be plotted yeah you can see the led is lighting up yeah here we go the graph is already you can see the iv curve rising up and its knee point is somewhat i think 1.2 volt because of the limitation of the software i cannot show you guys how the diodes reverse bias condition work let me demonstrate it with the help of an image here we have the IV characteristic curve of the diode. Here we have the forward bias condition and this is the reverse bias condition. And this region here is called the leakage current. And this is also another knee point as we have one here. And this part over here where the avalanche effect starts. And that's all for now. Hope you guys all enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching. And this is me, Dev Prakash. I'll catch you in the next one.